Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of my No Time to Explain Remastered speedrun guide. In this uh, video, we'll take a look at the cake world um, and uh, and the boss at the end of it. Uh, so the mechanic, the special mechanic of, of this world is the uh, is eating the cake and uh, turning into a, a fat guy that can, can roll down slopes. Um, first level is very introductory on how the uh, mechanic works. Uh, so hit the, actually uh, land around here, shoot yourself upwards, hit the cake and then try to land on top of this, uh, at the very top of the slope. Don't land here, land here to start rolling as soon as you can um yeah that's uh, that's about it uh, let's uh, try and, and show how it's done go here land here shoot this way try to land right there and then just go through the blue blocks uh for this one you uh go up here use the uh, slope to get faster height up here try to hover around uh, or on top of the cake and then just shoot yourself downwards like this Something like this aim for the blue part try to land on the right side But it's not that big of a deal and then a quick sh uh, Jump into the portal um, You move like we talked about you moving very, very slow while just walking in, in one of the first episodes um, Walking or trying to move while uh, Affected by cake is even worse like you move very very slow um so you want to try and avoid that at all at, at all cost um basically so so shooting yourself is is way more important than uh, than just walking normally as well um for this one just land near the top of the of the slope and roll to the right and let uh, <laughs> let let gravity do everything else so land around here start the roll and go through there is some ways that can save you a slight bit of time, but it's very inconsistent and it's better to have just that consistent setup of landing at the top of the slope, rolling down and, uh, and getting getting it first try. Um, for uh, this one, we actually do a little bit of a shortcut. The intended way of doing this, uh, this room, you go here, go up here, and then you're supposed to go up and get this cake up here, uh, which is very tedious. And, and takes a lot of time um, so what you can do instead is while rolling down this slope down here uh, you do a, a very short sh shot downwards so you fall into the blue uh, box while still in the rolling motion which uh, breaks them normally you wouldn't be able to break them just from down here um, let's see if we can, uh, can demonstrate this Properly, so if you land here, you can't really, you can't, you, you can't get enough height to actually. Okay, you can. Hmm. Didn't know that. Okay. Still, that takes. Uh, that's very slow. So what you want to do is, uh, is, is while rolling down here, just do a little, little, little shot downward so you get some air underneath you, uh, and then you can can fall all the way through. Um. Yeah. I like hitting this. Uh. This wall over here so you don't get too much speed because having too much speed from up here can can make it a lot harder to actually uh do the small hop down and uh and hitting the the blue uh blue parts down here um let me just try one more time from up here yeah and then sometimes you can actually uh, get stuck like that which is very much not ideal so yeah land down there small hop and uh, something like that, and into the portal. Here we need this cake. Try to land up here without hitting the cake. So just float over it and then grab it from behind because then you're already in motion to land over here. Do a roll down, land up here, fly as far as you can, and then just jump up. Very self-explanatory level, not much to it. Um, for this one, we actually do a short, very small shortcut. Ignore the cake, get this world flipper and this one, and then you uh, go straight into the portal this way. Not too big of a deal. Uh, this one can be very tricky uh, to know how to uh, approach in a lot of ways. Um, we have these uh, 
catapults, which we haven't seen since the alien ship. Uh, what I like to do is walk into the first one here and shoot a short shot downwards and then uh, quickly whip the mouse down. Kind of control my uh, my flight, so something like this. Maybe um, put the brakes on so you don't fly off into the void. Because doing that on this level will always reset. If you If you die on this level, it will always reset back to... The beginning so it can be uh, quite costly compared to a lot of other other levels uh but yeah short shot downwards as soon as you hit the uh the bounce pad or the launch pad grab this uh thing and then slow descent down to make sure you don't hit the uh the spikes here and avoid this one because you can just go straight into the portal here um yeah a quick way of doing that can also be Something like that way, actually in motion, hit the world changer. You really want to avoid those spikes. That was a very bad mistake. Um, costs a lot of time. So yeah, something like this. And the last level before the uh, boss, what I used to do was go down the slope a little bit. to get a lot of height and hit the cake and go into the portal. Um, but a faster way I found out is actually just getting some height like this and then shooting downwards like that if you just go up like this and then don't shoot downwards like this uh it, you, sometimes if you don't get enough height you don't get through so just shooting shooting yourself downwards just ensures that uh a little bit more um yeah so here we have the uh cake world boss um has three faces and uh if you don't you each face 100% correct it can get a little bit annoying and and uh, take some extra time um, but knowing how he reacts to your uh, to your attacks and your movement is, is kind of key in, uh, in, in like um, making sure that you can actually beat him even if you mess up your normal strategy so, um, as soon as you uh, load in, go for the cake over here on the left. Try to land around here, so you don't get too much speed. Short shot. And try to aim for, basically, his face. <laughs> um, and then land on the button down here that uh, opens his shield. Land on the button from the top, because that means you can um, shoot downwards like this here. And get on top of him very, very quickly. And uh, deal a lot of damage. As soon as he explode, try to move to the side and get the next cake. Do the same thing, land around here. Small quick shot, land on his face, land on the bottom. Go up here, shoot downwards. I still am not sure if the um, if his rockets damage himself. Um, but they are usually not that big of a problem. Once you uh, you get the, the timing correct on, on landing on top of the button and, and stuff like that. Um, it, it usually isn't that big of a, de of a deal. But yeah, it's, it's kind of crucial in this one to not get too much speed down the slope. Um, because then you can very easily overshoot the, uh, the whole mech robot thing. Which is definitely not something you want. Uh, so let's try and uh, restart again and show so quickly. Oh, <laughs> quickly grab the cake. Land around here on the middle of the slope. Quick shot there. And, uh... I like to release just a short bit, so I actually have some height when the uh, phase ends, or when he goes to the next phase. There I actually land a little low compared to what I would normally want, but as long as you don't hit the uh, button straight on, I can try and show you. If I, if I don't shoot downwards, I just go like that, and, and then I don't have enough height at all to get up on top of him from the start, and I can get, get a little dicey uh, sometimes. It worked out there, but you definitely want to try and land on top of, of, of the button. Um, so, uh, yeah. And uh, that is the uh, Cake World boss. At the end, you enter the portal, skip the cutscene as fast as you can, and then you go into the uh, stomach acid world. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.